Hi friends, Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. Today I am bringing you happy mail that I have received over the course of the past few weeks and I wanted to share it with you guys. I've opened everything because I'm impatient. Plus it helps with all the crinkling and stuff. So I received this package here from Amber over at Ooh Ah Crochet. If you guys remember, I had put a call out for some vintage yarn that I chose to use in my temperature blanket. I literally have 10 rows left of that specific color that I need to get caught up because we've now moved back into the cooler temperatures and I ran out. So our sweet Amber was contacted from Linda who let her know, hey, Alaska Crafty Gal is looking for some vintage yarn. Well, Amber was kind enough to reach out to me. She sent me an email and said she had some vintage yarn in the specific color, emerald green, and would I like it? And I was like, uh, yes, yes, and yes, because she had three skeins. Of course, more than I needed, but I was so excited and so happy and so thankful that she had reached out to me saying she had some. Well, she did send it to me and it is Wintuck. It is, I don't know if you can see that, uh, emerald green. But when it got here, it was not a match. It was not a match. I was so sad because Amber took the time to go through her vintage yarn dig through her stash, find the emerald greens, take a photo and send it to me. It's very thoughtful. She's such a giving person and gifted it to me. And then it got here and I was so excited when I opened the mail and saw the package from Amber. And I was like, yes. And I, I mean, I even opened it in the truck before I even got back to the house because I was like, oh my gosh it's here and I was so excited to get caught up and then it I brought it in and it's too vast of a color difference I she had emailed me and said let me know when you receive it and I did and she was like does it match and I was like oh unfortunately not and she said I have more I have tons of vintage yarn um, and I'd be more than happy to continue looking for you so instead of just a shot in the dark because clearly we can't go just by the name and I've noticed with vintage yarn the dye lot number makes a much bigger difference like if I just buy you know red heart super saver in the color red whether the dye lots well I think a lot of those say no dye lot so I guess that doesn't matter but just using that as an example dye lot is not quite as big of a difference. I have noticed it in some of the cakes and stuff, but it's not as big of a difference as in the vintage yarn. Like with the vintage yarn, dye lot numbers make a, it's a, it's a huge difference. So that's just my experience. I'm, I could be wrong, but that's just been my experience. I actually enjoy using vintage yarn, so I have no problem using it whenever I have it, or if I buy it from a, a sale, like when I bought it from my mom's friend, who could no longer crochet and I bought a whole bunch of yarn from her. She had quite a bit of vintage yarn. So um, I, I like it. I don't have an issue using it. And once I wash it a few times, if I use it in a blanket or something, it softens just up fine. So that's just that. Off on a tangent there. But Amber, thank you so much. I will be sending you the piece I'm going to cut off and uh, match it that way. So thank you very much. It is so much appreciated. And she sent me three and I said, well, don't worry. These three will go to good use with the holidays coming up, especially. So thank you, Amber from Ooh Ah Crochet. You are truly a blessing. I appreciate this very much. So that was one of my happy mails. And then my wonderful sister over in Wales had sent a care package for Logan to my daughter, but she included this book for Victoria. So thank you, sister, my sister Jennifer, who I call Fufiana. But she sent me this really cool book called 
Crochet with your leftovers. 25 great ways to use up your yarn leftovers of one ball or less. And there are some really cute patterns in here. Um, loads of just really cute patterns. So this was another Happy Mail I received. Thank you, Jen. I love it. My little Foofy Yana. So that was another Happy Mail that I had received. And I think I need my eyeballs back. So here we go. Um, this is a Happy Mail I have received from Kobe, Jacoba. She, we all know Jacoba. She's on a lot of our channels, always in the comment sections. Um, just an active participant and friend of mine. So she sent me a little surprise in the mail, which I was really excited about. So Kobe sent me this. She's so thoughtful. She sent me this really cute card. Oh, let me move the envelope. She sent me this really cute card and just a nice little note inside. And then she had said a little hat that she had made for Logan in here. So look how cute this hat is she made for Logan. Oh my God, it's an owl. It's an owl hat. She did such a good job. She did such a good job. It's a little preemie hat. It's a little owl with a little ear, ear covers and little tassels. Oh my gosh. So thoughtful, so kind, and so cute. So thank you, Kobe. And Miss Jacoba also sent me this book. She's so sweet. She sent me this really cute, magical Amagurumi toys, 15 sweet project, uh, crochet projects. And there are bunnies and dolls and a little worm and a horse, just the cutest, cutest patterns in here. It's so cute, like uh, little bunny rabbits. There's a little bear. There's a teeny tiny bear, a little tiny palm bear, but there's a mouse. Just really cute Amagurumi um, toys. So thank you very, very much. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And of course, Logan and my daughter, thank you for the hat as well. And then I got this beautifully decorated envelope right here. It's got a gorgeous butterfly on it. It was really thick and I'm like, oh, that's thick, something thick in there. Well, this was from Chiquita, Deborah over at Chiquita's Crochet and she made the cutest thing. So she's been very much into paper crafting, um, just doing all different types of things. Of course she crochets but she's been really into her paper crafting and doing journaling and prayer journals and embellishing things. So she made this beautiful mirror with lace. Um, she gifted it to Billy, the Crafty Floridian. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I will link uh, Deborah's channel down below as well as Amber's over at Ua Crochet. But she's been very into paper crafting and she sent me this really I mean, it is so detailed. Um, there's a bow and it's a card and you undo the bow and look at all the gorgeous, she's just so thoughtful. So she knows I love giraffes and that's like a, a giraffe on there. She put a cross, because God first. She put flowers and buttons for flowers. She made this floral thing out of like the sticks and the, the metallic uh, foil and then on the back, of course, there's the bow. And then on the back, there's beads, you know, there's little beads and they say, hashtag faith with a heart and then some hearts. I want you to be able to see this nicely. So faith and then the hearts and then a paper clip that's embellished with cute heart paper. Just very nice and decorated. And then on the inside, look how cute that is. It's just so detailed. 
and it says memories right here. Enjoy the little things and the mailbox with flowers. Oh, a mailbox with flowers. And then right here is this tag and it's just a little note, you know, saying congratulations on your grandson. Just, and it's in a little paper bag envelope on the little mini envelope on the card. Deborah, you did a beautiful job on this. It is so gorgeous and I love it, love it, love it. You did wonderful. So thank you very much. Brighten my day. I love it. Very good work. <laughs> thank you, Deborah. And then I received uh, from Kimberly. I won't say her last name because I don't know if she wants me to, but she is a friend of mine I met through here and we have become friends as well. Like so many of you, I've met like-minded folks that are crafty and we have things in common. And I received this wonderful card from you and it is such a cute, okay, so you open the envelope, right? And look at the cute paper. And then look at, it matches. And it's just a really sweet card. It says love. And then she writes me this beautiful, beautiful private message. And it's just very thoughtful and kind and sweet. But in the card, she enclosed a Michael's gift card. Woman, I'm telling you, completely unnecessary but I do appreciate it very, very much. Thank you so much. And in the note, I won't read all of it, but she just basically said um, a gift card so to keep you creating wonderful things that we can all enjoy. So thank you, Kimberly. That was very, very thoughtful, very, very kind, and very, very generous, and I appreciate it very much. I really do, so. I got a little something special coming your way as well. And not because you sent me something special, but just because. Hmm. All right, and then I received this giant package from Barbara L. We all know Barbara, our sailboat Barbara. That's what you are now referred to as, <laughs> sailboat Barbara. <laughs> but this came in the mail. And uh, it came with this beautiful card that she mailed me. Look at that, gorgeous, beautiful card. Love the scenery. And a, a nice sweet note inside, private message to me. But look at what she does now. <gasps> I was so excited to receive these. And yes, I will definitely think of you every time I use them, but she sent me Starfish, she makes stitch markers, guys. Did you know that? So a starfish, of course, a sailboat. I love it. And look at this, a turtle. You did a good job, very cute, I love them. And now I can use them. But she sent those stitch markers. She sent me a little brag book. <laughs> it's a little mini photo album so I can put all of my photos of my grandbaby in here. And I've already printed out a bunch so this is already gonna be full as soon as I insert them in here. But I printed out a bunch and it's a little brag book for photos. So she sent me a brag book. She said she had picked up one for her new grandson because she just had a grandson this year as well. And uh, she thought of me and grabbed me one as well. So thank you, Barbara. It will be full by this evening. And then she sent me, she said she saw this yarn and sent me this yarn because of the fact that I'm gonna be having a granddaughter due in January. So it's a Stitch Studio by Nicole Bamboo Yarn. And it's super, oh, blowing out, huh? Hmm, there we go. It's got like pinks and baby blues and whites and it's so soft. It's a three weight. 
and the color is called Cotton Candy, but it's just so pretty. So she sent me that. So I'll be making something super cute with this for my granddaughter. And then she said, I had to get this. As soon as I saw it, it's, it was you. So she sent me a three pack of yarn. But wait, the best part is it's called Alaskan Blue. <laughs> oh, can you see that okay? Oh, this light. Here we go. Anyway, it's called Alaskan Blue, and it's like a like an ice blue color. It might look a little purple on screen, but it's blue. It's so pretty. It's so soft. It's Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday DK. Uh, it's 273 yards. And it is a light three weight as well, but it's, oh, there we go. It's such a pretty yarn. It's so soft. It is, I believe, 100% acrylic. Let me just see if I can see where it says. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, anti-pilling acrylic. So, but it's a three pack. So for at 273 yards, I can make something quite substantial with this. So thank you, Barbara. I love it. I love it so much. This yarn is so soft. So three of those. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you for my yarn and my stitch markers, my little brag book. And thank you to Kimberly for my gift card, Deborah for my card, Kobe for my book and the hat for Logan, and Amber over at Ooh Ah Crochet for helping me and continuing to help me find this better match for the yarn. But I wanted to show you guys quickly, and to my sister Jen, of course, who sent me the wonderful book on how to use up your scraps. See the difference? It's quite a difference. This is more like Christmas green, where this is more, you know. So, like I said, this will definitely get used just in a different project. So, Amber, like I said, I'm going to cut off a piece of this, ship it to you in a card, try to match it better that way, and hopefully save you a lot of time and headache trying to find or to match, you know, based on a name. But that is all of my happy mail for today. Um, a sweet subscriber had contacted me via email and she's going to be moving and she has some pattern books that she said, I'd like to send to you. Would you like them? And I was like, I love pattern books. I would love it if you don't mind sending them to me. Um, so I'm excited. She said she got them in the mail and they're on the way to me. So I can't wait to get those. So I'll show that in an upcoming video as well. In the meantime, Thank you guys for joining me here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking my videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here, guys. Bye-bye.